brothers, welcome to the Men's Gospel Reflection for the 17th Sunday of Easter, Year A. We're looking at John chapter 17, verses 1 through 11. This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Again, as always, brothers, we're taking a close look here at the lessons that we could find about Christian manliness through the journey of Christ with His disciples. In this Sunday's Gospel reading, Jesus is in prayer just before He is handed over to the Jews to initiate His passion. Now, John chapter 17 is my favorite chapter in all of Scripture, and the reason is, is because it speaks of our true end. Let me read John 17, verses 1 through 4. When Jesus had spoken these words, He lifted up His eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify Thy Son, that Thy Son may glorify Thee, since Thou hast given Him power over all flesh, to give eternal life to all Thou hast given Him. And this is eternal life that thou may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I glorified thee on earth, having accomplished the work which thou gave me to do. Our end, brothers, just as Christ, is to give glory to the Father. This is what I like to call our cosmic purpose. Sure, Jesus came on earth to reach that summit of his life to be hung on a cross. In this way, eternity was open for us. But more importantly, this was the way Jesus gave glory to His Father. In fact, my favorite passage in all of Scripture is John 17, verse 4. I have glorified Thee on earth, Father, having accomplished the work which You gave me to do. Brothers, we're not here on this earth to go to heaven someday. Heaven may be our destination, but it's not our mission. Our mission is to glorify the Father, and we do this primarily through moving through the Son. If it's about going to heaven, then in some way it becomes all about ourself, what we must do, what we must accomplish to reach this goal of paradise. No, gentlemen, we have to see God's glory is our end. Otherwise, it becomes all about us and what we are to gain, no matter how good. Yes, Jesus completed His task. He fulfilled His mission by dying on the cross, but His purpose was to give glory to the Father. No question, for every man, what He is called to will be different, but the end, the objective, is all the same, to give glory to their Heavenly Father. Careful, brothers, about getting caught up in that notion of heaven being our inheritance, of our final end, because in that way it's so easy to make faith about us and our own glory or gain. When it's about the Father, we begin to live for another, and it's a much better way of living. Now, looking further at this passage, in this prayer, the verses I just read, I'll read again, verses John 2 through 17, verses 2 through 3. He describes eternal life, which is our destination. Since thou hast given him power over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom thou hast given him, and this is eternal life that they may know Thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom Thou hast sent. Now, eternal life is nothing less than that profound love of God Himself. It's not about a place. Eternal life is about communion with the divine person or divine persons. We are to enter in and possess God by knowing Him, as the passage says. But what does, exactly does it mean to know God? It means intimate union with Him. Now we have that passage in the Old Testament where we understand knowing for sexual knowledge. We look at Genesis chapter 4 verse 1, Adam knew his wife and she conceived. An immediate meaning here is physical intimacy. However, physical intimacy presumes a deeper intimacy that a couple share in heart, in mind, and in soul. Ultimately, to know God is to have an intimate relationship with Him, heart, mind, and soul. And thanks to Jesus, this intimacy is possible through Him, with Him, and in Him. Brothers, we're called a relationship. And no question, knowledge leads us deeper in that relationship. Actually, pursuing God starts in knowledge, in that clarity of the many teachings of faith. Yes, and this is valuable. I don't want to diminish that. And learning the faith, learning scripture can be very attractive and stir our hearts. But gentlemen, we do not make eternal life about what we know. It's about meeting God through a deep, personal, intimate connection, a profound internal relationship. If you have any questions or comments, post them, and I'll be happy to get back to you. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.